James Cutley, first of all, your, your thoughts on tonight's performance? Um, look, it wasn't the result we came here to get, was it? So, um, you know, I thought we probably weren't quite as aggressive as we have been uh, in certain parts of the game, and I, but I thought we showed real character with the ball. So at the halfway stage of their innings, they were probably lining up 190, 200 potentially, um, and which we know they've posted here a couple of times. So um, I thought we were really smart the second half of their innings, um, which was really pleasing to see. I thought we might have been a little bit distracted by the, the short side and probably didn't bowl, um, as I say, as a as aggressively as we could have done in the first 10 overs, but credit to Middlesex. You know, the two openers played really well up front, so and they have done throughout the tournament, So especially Eskenazi. So, um, he's continued his good form. And then, batting-wise, we never really got going, did we? And uh, we look... You know, it, it, it sounds like an excuse, but we, we are just a little bit rusty. Um, and it isn't necessarily hitting more balls or bowl, you know facing more balls uh, it's just that uh, instinctive gameplay that I think we're just lacking at the minute which as I say if we can play the next uh, four games with a little bit more instinct uh, a little bit more smart again uh, I think we'll uh, finish the campaign of this part of the tournament very well I know you wouldn't use it as an excuse James but, but Sussex are missing some big players as well at the moment Oh look, there's lots going on at the minute, and you know we've we've got to. Our challenge is to remain focused. Um, our challenge tomorrow is for everyone to have a common goal of winning the game tomorrow at Cardiff. So uh, it's easier said than done. Um, whether it's been the COVID bits, whether it's been call ups, whether it's been um, weather, whatever it's been, it's. Um, you know, we're in professional sport and we, we just need to ensure that, as I say, that to a man we, we're there tomorrow with a common goal to, to beat Glamorgan. And looking ahead to that game, is it sometimes better to have a game coming as quickly, James, and a chance to put the, the wrong of tonight right tomorrow? Yeah, it is. I mean, you're on a coach, you know, the lads will be talking and... Yeah, look, you, you don't get much respite in this competition unless it rains like it has for us. Um, but look, it, you just get, you do, you get back on the horse and you, you play again. Um, it'll be fresh in our minds. Um, and as I say, the, uh, you know, there'll be good conversations in the, on the bus and on the bus tomorrow and we'll go again. And how tough is it at the moment, James? You've got the COVID situation, you've got a championship match coming off the back of Glamorgan. It, it, seems, it seems it's almost one thing after another at the moment. It is, and that's English county cricket. And, you know, we, that's what we sign up to, um, player or coach. And um, look, it's a, it's a steep learning curve. And certainly for people that, you know, for a Harrison Ward or an Archie Lenham, you know, it's a steep learning curve. And, you know, for a new coach, equally, you know, different as a player um, but it, you know as a as a coach you you are continually adapting and uh, trying to assess things in the right way and you know thankfully I'm surrounded by some incredibly experienced players that have their views their thoughts and everything else like that and you know that's important to take on and they help guide um, and actually that's what you want is the team to guide itself and you just provide that environment to allow those influences, the good influences to take, to take over. Final question, James, in terms of other players who might be coming in, uh, uh, Rashid Khan, what, what's the situation with Rashid at the moment? Uh, I hope he's landed. I hope he's in a hotel in the UK. <laughs> um, and then, you know, literally, I expect for Keith will give me a date from which he's available and, you know, What's nice when you, you've got the number one bowler in the world is that it's a very easy um, selection decision. Um, the knock-on effect is obviously more difficult, but um, you know it'd be great to have that little bit of impetus um, towards the back end of uh, this qualifying stages for the, for the knockouts. Yeah, the group's still up for grabs, isn't it? I mean, everyone's concentrated, no, but you're I'm still not, in it, James. I'm not, I'm not worried at all. And, you know, the, you know we, we've got plenty of games left. Um, you know, it's always been the equation, I think, 16 points or something like that. So I think that's, what, two and a half wins. So we'll go from there.